Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan is on his first official visit to Georgia. At the Tbilisi airport, Pashinyan and his wife Anna Hagopian were met by Mikhail Janadidze, Vice Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Georgia. Pashinyan met with Georgian President Georgi Margvelashvili. He also held talks with his Georgian colleague Georgi Kovikashvili. The sides stressed the importance of deepening Armenian-Georgian ties. The Georgian Prime Minister assured that stability and democracy in Armenia are very important to Georgia, and that's why they were closely following the recent events unrolling in Armenia. During the visit, Pashinyan will meet also with representatives of the Armenian community of Tbilisi and attend the events devoted to the centennial of the Declaration of the First Republic of Armenia. Protesters demanding resignation of the Yerevan State University Rector decided to stop their protest actions. We wish health to Rector Aram Simonian and in support, we are stopping the protest actions, organizer David Pedrosian said. A day earlier, the students blocked the Rector's office and Simonian had felt ill. Later, it became known that he was hospitalized. If the United States does not supply a F-35 stealth fighter jets to the Turkish Air Force, Ankara will satisfy its need for such warplanes somewhere else, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Çavuşoğlu said. He warned that Turkey may close down the Injilik Air Base for the United States. In case of problems, Turkey will not be left without an alternative, as it may buy both from Russia and from a NATO member country. Head of the Armenian Food Safety Service, Ishan Garabetian, has handed over his resignation. Representatives of the service said, however, that it has not been signed yet. During the government's cabinet meeting last week, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan had reprimanded Garabetian for receiving letters from Russia's Rosel Khoznadzor, but he was not aware of that. In response, the Armenian Food Safety Service chief had noted that they received numerous such letters periodically during the year. 2017 Aurora Prize laureate Dr. Tom Katena will arrive in Yerevan on Thursday. Katena will visit Armenia ahead of the 2018 Aurora Prize award ceremony and a series of special events. He will carry out a tour of Armenia and Artsakh. A senior North Korean official was bound for New York for high-level talks with U.S. officials on Tuesday, ahead of a possible historic nuclear summit between U.S. President Donald Trump and the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Trump confirmed the general was on his way in a tweet and boasted that Washington would have a great team for the talks, which he still hopes will take place on June the 12th in Singapore. <laughs>